Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian, aka Coach CWC, coming at you with another exciting video. This is how you can move your games to an external drive and play them off of any system, and this can include your Steam or Origin or Battle.net games. So let me show you how you do this. Now the external drive that I'm going to be using for this video is a Samsung T3. This is a one terabyte SSD drive. I like using the SSD drives because it's not a mechanical drive. I don't have to worry about it failing on me. I can just throw it in a bag and go. So this is my preferred drive for video games and small backups, things like that. So this is a USB-C drive, but you can see here that the cable that comes with it um, just plugs into a regular USB 3.0 or you could swap this cable out and just go USB-C. So because this is a MacBook Pro, because there are no regular USB 3.0s, just USB-Cs, I'm using this Sateki adapter. And with this adapter, um, and I'll leave a link below, but with this adapter, it allows me to use three USB 3.0s, an SD card, and a micro SD card all in one device. So. I'm going to plug this in here, plug this back into my laptop, and we will be good to go. Now for your Steam games, you're going to want to locate where those games are at. In this case, I've already moved them, but what you want to do is you want to copy them over. So typically on your PC, you'll find them under your C drive or program files, but look for Steam. And then underneath Steam, you're going to find Steam apps. And then underneath that, you're going to find Common. Now this is where all the games by default get installed. So this could be on your C drive, your D drive, just find out where they're at. Copy any of those games that you want over to your new hard drive, external, SSD, whatever you want to use. And then that's going to be how we're going to tell Steam, Origin, and Battle.net to look for them. So let me show you the next step. Okay, so now that I've got Steam installed, as you can see, I just went up to Steam and then Settings. And within your settings here, just go down to Downloads. So you should click on the Downloads button. Then it's going to ask where our content libraries are. And in this case, you can see it's just where the defaulted uh, location is when we installed Steam. I'm going to choose my external drive, which in this case is D, but on yours it could be whatever the external drive is. I'm going to point it to the Steam folder. As you can see, I have all my applications in there. I'm going to choose the default just Steam folder that I have. I'm going to select that. You can also see now that it shows the seven games that I have in that location. I'm going to right click on that Steam and I'm going to make that my default folder. So make sure you do that so every time it looks for it in there. And as you can see now if I go back to my library of games, you see how the button is play instead of install or stream. So any um, games that I have installed directly onto this external drive, those ones will be highlighted and I'm ready to play them. That's all you need to do for Steam. You're good to go. So let me show you on the, uh, the next application how you do it. Okay, next up is Origin. And I've already installed the desktop application. So once you've installed the desktop application, if you click on Origin, go down to application settings in the application settings on the top click on installs and saves click on game library location change folder this is again where you want to select your external drive here so make sure you select your external drive so now that I've got uh, my external drive selected and you can see I've got my games in there and I chose uh, the origin folder so you can see now it says D origin games so make sure you copy over the origin games folder from your old system onto the external drive now you can see if I click on battlefield it's gonna act like it doesn't know it's there As soon as I click on download it's then going to locate the files that are on there, make sure the file structure is correct, and you're done. So let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to Battle.net. Okay, so I have my Battle.net client installed on my desktop. 
So same thing again, I just want to make sure that I've copied over the games that I want to, and in this case I just copied over um, Hearthstone and Overwatch. So you can see there that they're located in the folder. And you can put them anywhere on the drive that you want. And as long as in Battle.net you just point right at the root of the drive, it will automatically detect where they're at. So once I have chosen the root, it now looks for those. It finds them. Same thing again. It's now just going to patch these up. And you're ready to go. That's all you need to do. You're good to go. So that is how you can move and or play any Steam, Origin, or Battle.net games from an external drive, whether it's an SSD or a mechanical. Or if you wanted to back up your gaming files, put them somewhere in the event that your system crashed, you could do the same thing. Or if you got a new drive for your computer and you just wanted to move them all without re-downloading all of them, that's how you do it. So... I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave any comments below on videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you stick around for the next video when I show you the gameplay on the MacBook Pro Base 13. And I'll see you guys on the next video.